Hello everyone in the world, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Let's talk about basic writing rules. Capital letters. We use them at the beginning of a sentence. Mother loves her daughter. Proper or common nouns. Brands like Samsung. Proper nouns like the United States. So we capitalize the U and S. Also, the name of the countries. Egypt, United Kingdom and so on. We also capitalize the story titles no matter what, how long it is. The man who saved my life. We also capitalize the acronym BRB which is referred to be right back. Full stop. Period. At the end of a sentence Kate loves Zach. Period. Mr. Andrew or Mrs. Stewart. We use them also in titles like Mr. Mrs. Ms. Parentheses. Use parentheses to enclose information that clarifies or used as an aside. Example, he finally answered after taking five minutes to think that he did not understand the question. Giving details of an abbreviation, ESP, which is as soon as possible, so use parentheses. Hyphens between words or hyphenate. Hyphenate or hyphens clarifying the meaning. Father-in-law with hyphen between the words meaning the father of your husband or wife but if we remove the hyphen father-in-law it doesn't make sense the sentence is not completed to give what actually the meaning of father-in-law without hyphen rule number one generally hyphenate two or more words when they came before a noun they modify and act as a single idea this is called a compound adjective examples an off-campus apartment off-campus compound adjective state-of-the-art design numbers between 21 and 99 hyphenate the numbers between 21 and 99 21 22 23 till 29 31 32 41 42 and so on till 99 you can hyphenate of these numbers the dashes they are used to emphasize dashes emphasize an interruption or an abrupt change of thought for example very quickly change of thought i think i'm going out no i have changed my mind so you were thinking about going out and now you've changed your mind very very quick semicolons semicolons are used in compound sentences and often replace the following conjunctions for and nor but or yet and so i like the fury faces on cats semicolon i don't like their sharp claws so in this case you could say you could replace the semicolon with the conjunction but i like the fury faces on the cats or on cats but i don't like their sharp claws colons to list something we need the following items bread comma milk cream and potatoes so list of items while you are at school you must abide by these rules no running the hallway semicolon no talking in class semicolon and no talking on the mobile phones so the rules that you are telling the other people you were you're telling not just one rule but many that and that and that you're listing something you're listing these things so that's why we use the columns quotation mark to introduce someone's speech so i told you something and you take my words to to tell it to someone else so that means to to introduce someone's speech this has been a very interesting lesson joshua said exclamation marks they are used to show your emotions and feelings help you're afraid you want help or maybe you're tired you need help shows emotion get out Peter yield so that means he's angry commas commas customarily indicate a brief buzz short buzz rule number one use commas to separate words and word group and word groups in a simple series of three or more items to separate example my state goes to my husband comma son comma daughter-in-law comma and nephew rule number two Use a comma to separate two adjectives when the adjectives are interchangeable. So you could say he is a strong, healthy man, or you could say he is healthy, strong man. Thank you for watching. If you have any question regarding the writing skills, the basic writing skills, please put them below.